Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Uh, another beautiful day out here in the trucking world. Uh, I want to make an, a video um, more so than this one's not really about truck driving. This one's about uh, just words of wisdom. Um, as I've always talked about in several of my other videos, I'm a Christian, I'm a man of faith, um, and I'm a strong believer in uh, Jesus Christ. And um, this one is, this video is going to be about really just giving advice. Um, this is going to be my Happy New Year's kind of video, I guess you could say. Um, and there's, there's two things I want to talk about. Um, a friend of mine posted something on her Facebook and um it got me it's something that i think about every single year just whenever i see obligatory happy new year's new year new me post uh i'm claiming year whatever to be my year and um it's going to be a good year uh i'm just going to read the post real quick um wow pretty much sums up 2018 i'm forever grateful for the blessings of my uh son whose brown twinkling eyes push me to keep me going and sometimes, you know, get me out of bed in the morning. The beginning of 2018 was trying and I came close to start questioning God about situations I was experiencing, but I pressed on. The middle was perhaps even more difficult um, and, she, and you struggled uh, more than she cares to think about and deal with. As life would have it, the ending of 2018 once again brought unsettling news and emotions. 2018 wasn't all bad, though. Just had my fair share of bad movements and moments. I'm over the moon, excited for the marriages, births, home ownership, starting and going back to school, graduations from school, exploring businesses. They go on to talk about the happiness for their friends. At that time, she said she, highly, she heavily relied on the loved ones to keep her going. So as she sits here on the first day of 2019 and claiming it to be better than ever, I can only go up from here. Big things are already in the works and I'm excited to get my groove back. I'm far from where I want to be, but I thank God daily for where I am now and the joy that I am rediscovering. Now, um, I know this person on a very personal level. Um, there's several things I want to talk about. Uh, I don't want to be the person that's like, oh my God, you're killing the new year vibe, new year, new me, all that stuff. But this is in twofold right here. Part one of this is I don't necessarily believe in the fact that saying a new year is going to be all around better for you. Um, 2018 is just another year. It is a number. Saying that January 1st, 2019 is going to change your life, is going to be the your year, it is just another day. Change does not come overnight. Just because you had a terrible situation, things that you were dealing with, December 31st, 2018, they don't magically go away because it's January 1st, 2019. Uh, those situations continue. With that being said, situations a lot of times are brought on by decisions that we make in our life. It is not because oh, 2018 was a rough year, 2017 was a rough year. That's why I've had these issues. These issues, Yes, sometimes they are just spiritual warfare that the devil is throwing wrenches in your life, testing you, and it's a test of your faith um, in your walk with Christ. But oftentimes it is also because of the decisions that we made. Um, I'm not going to go into detail talking about said person's post, but I can say a lot of the things that that person was doing caused those issues so yes 2018 might have been a trying year for for you or whomever is watching this video but take a second to think about what actions did i personally take 
that caught may have caused these different various situations. You might say for another person, 2018 was a year of financial struggle for me. You know, I didn't have the money for this. I didn't have the money for that. Money didn't seem to come my way. All right. But if you take a recap over that over the year, you're spending money on things you don't need that you don't need to spend money on. Um, let's say you went out and you said, you I'm treating myself. Uh, I'm going to buy myself a, uh, a new motorcycle, Honda CBR 1000 double R with all the works, full exhaust system. Yet you knew that you were not in a spot financially to be able to really make that decision and be able to afford everything else you have going on in your life. It's not because you went and bought that bike. You have a bike payment now. You're you're having hardships in other areas of your life. This is just an example. Apply it to your life however you see fit. You made a decision, and it might not have been the smartest decision, and now it is affecting you in other areas. So before you go and claim that 2018 was a bad year, do some self evaluating and say decisions that I made added to my stress, added to the issues. So I need to think about what I do, think about what I say, think about how I react to situations. And that will help me grow and make better decisions, thus having a better future better 2019 that's one that's what i like to say think about the choice that i have made um learn from it and when the next year next whatever rolls around i will make better decisions i will think things through a little bit more so when i come to the situation i think it through and i will be able to have more of a positive outcome. Thus, you'll have multiple positive outcomes. Things will just go all around, become better for you. And then, next thing you know, you're saying 2019 was my year. It was my year of growth. It was my year of prospering. And it's not the year that has changed. The year is just another day. The The start of 2019 is just another day. And every day following is just another day. But the way you're handling situations, the way you're thinking through things, the decisions that you make are leading you in a better direction, therefore giving you better results, therefore overall giving you a better year. So um, that was part one of what I want to say. Basically, think about what you're think about what it is that you did that may have caused those situations before just claiming that it was just a bad year and just woe is me and I'm down on my luck. Part two of what I've had to say is, um, I know it's a lot of people, like I said, the new year, new me, I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Or, or I want the year to bring prosperity and happiness and joy to my life. But what are you doing to make that happen? Uh, The Bible speaks of faith without works is dead. You saying you want a new year, new me, new everything is your faith. However, what work are you putting towards being able to have that happiness? If you're saying you want um, more money, uh, whether it be, you know, just getting a better job. Um, you know, you, you don't want the situations where you've noticed that just hanging around certain kind of people doing certain things yield bad results. Before you can have a change, you need to change yourself. Looking yourself in the mirror and say, what am I doing that's causing these? Who am I hanging around that's causing these issues? What can I change about myself? What can I change about what I'm doing? What can I change in general to help get me to the results that I want? If you want a new job, 
because you, if you want more money, so you say, I need to get a new job. The job I have isn't making enough. Instead of just hoping one falls in your lap, build your resume, go out, job fairs, apply to different jobs. You know, know your strengths, know your weaknesses, find a job that you can excel in, apply for it, do what you can to make it happen. That's your working part. That's the part where I said faith out works is dead. That's your works. You're pushing towards trying to find this new job. And then once you work on your strengths, I understand your weaknesses and go from there. You apply for that job. You apply for said position. That's when the faith kicks in. You've done all you need to do on your back end. Now you need to stand in the faith that you have in God or whatever you believe in that all your hard work will indeed give you the prosperity and give you the job you're looking for. If you notice that all your friends want to do is party, go to the clubs, drink, bar hop, hang out, and that's really the majority of what they do and what y'all do and you're noticing that there's no forward movement, that's it. They're content with where they're at in life. Think about saying, I might need to limit the amount that I'm hanging out with these people. They're nice, fun, good people, but they're not helping me grow in the way that I want to grow. So if you're consistently hanging around, plucking around with chickens, but you want to soar like an eagle, if all you want to do is hang around with chickens, You'll never learn how to soar like an eagle because your mindset is that of a chicken because that's all you want to hang out with. If you don't change your environment, come out of your comfort zone to step into something new to try to make yourself grow, you're not going to grow. So I implore you guys to look at your situations, take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and be honest and say, what can I cut out? Who can I cut out? What can I do differently? What can I do as the working part of this equation so I can set myself up for success in whatever area I want to succeed in? So when I do what I need to do and set myself up, I will go and push for it, and I will have faith in God or faith in whatever you believe to make, uh, to allow that change to happen. And you'll start noticing, once you get past this whole saying, but actually doing it, and actually making legit changes, you will notice that um, your life, your situations, your circumstances begin to change for the better. So, um, that's what I wanted to talk about. This is my uh, New Year's video to you guys. Something to think about. Um, essentially, think about what it is that you do that might cause these situations instead of blaming the year and saying it's just been a rough year. And two, what can you do to change yourself and change your environment and change change just what can you change in your life to help get you to the next level uh sometimes those changes are going to be uncomfortable growing pains sometimes it's just not going to be really what you want to do but what you have to do and sometimes that's what you gotta do you got actually not sometimes all the time you need to do what you need to do in order to get the results that you want all right, so uh, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys have a great day, a uh, great rest of the week, and I hope you have a great New Year's, and I hope everything works out for you the way that you want it to. But before you can expect it to work out for you the way you want it to, remember, you need to, uh, you need to do the legwork. You need to evaluate yourself and evaluate your situations and evaluate what you're doing and, you know, just your life. And ch make changes, make actual changes and be consistent with the changes and hold tight to them. And I promise you things will get better for you. They will. All right. As always, like, comment, subscribe. 
And uh, I'll come at you guys with some uh, newer videos. I uh, know I said I wasn't going to make any more videos in the truck because that's what the company said. But, you know, it's cold as all get out outside right now. I'm at a rest area. There's nowhere else for me to go. And I really felt it pressing in my heart and in my soul to make this video. So I'm um, sitting still, not driving, not doing anything. I'm legit just on a break. So this is me talking to you guys, giving you all a, a little bit of wisdom for the New Year's. All right. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed and uh, look forward to making more videos for you guys.